Um, that's what we came here for, to uh, win games, you know, so we just been doing what we're supposed to do, and, you know, it's a, a, a nice honor to, to have that. Uh, <clears throat> we've been a part of some great teams, and uh, just trying to continue to do it, and uh, I think we've been a big part of, you know, like I said, some great teams over the past few years. Jimmer for that? Yeah. Uh, did he play four years or five? Four. He played four? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I just remember uh, when I was in 11th grade, I came to San Diego State and watched him play here uh, when they played for that. Um, I had no idea that he was the most winning player. So it was news to me when I found out. Yeah, um, I didn't get to watch any, uh, any state games in person. So uh, I didn't get to see uh, state play against him, but you know, obviously, I knew about him and how good of a player he was. But I didn't know that as well. And, uh, what does this achievement rank in you guys? Uh, you guys' careers, like you know, look back on this a couple years from now and say, like, hey, how like this one, this is what's going to stand out. Um, I rather, I rather get most wins overall in the whole in the uh, in the whole school. That would be more important. So you know, I'm still chasing that one. Uh, just because you know it's it's uh, all all time overall wins, you know that's something that means more to me. So you know, I'm a few games away, and I plan to uh, beat it. It's an it's an honor to play for Coach Fisher. It's been it's been a great experience and all my teammates. So, I mean, I loved it, and I think it was a great decision to um, transfer here. Uh, it's been a great experience for me. Uh, I, I I like playing for Coach Fisher. Uh, only coach I could see myself playing for, uh, and I made a lot of great relationships with. A lot of guys who I probably would have never ended up meeting if I didn't come here. So um, it's been great for me. Yeah, it's been a, a great experience. You know, real, real great coaching staff, great players. You know, uh, even better friends that I've made, and I've made a lot of great memories here. And you know, it's, it's sad that it's coming to an end. I've enjoyed my time here. Uh, just, you know, the way I play, um, some of the things I do, um, some of the mistakes I've made, um, mostly because of the way that I play and uh, how patient he is with me. Um, I'm, I know I'm high risk, high reward type of player, and uh, Coach Fisher gives me a lot of freedom, and I think you know, for the bulk of this season, really for the bulk of my career, I feel like I've um, not abused that freedom, but I feel like I've definitely produced more than I've not produced. So, you know, I'm just proud to and happy that I was able to play for a coach like that. Do you think, um, listed your needs your talked a lot about your legacy that you'll leave here. Do you think your legacy has uh, you know, I think about it a lot. I won't lie to you. Um, I always think about, you know, how, where would I rank myself among all time? And uh, I definitely think this month will have a lot to do with that. Um, but in terms of just talent, size, and ability, you know, I believe I'm up there. But that's not for me to debate. That's for you guys to debate. But um, this, these next few weeks in my book, you know, which is the most important to me, um, will definitely I'll be able to say, okay, I feel like I'm here. I feel like I'm here. Or I feel like I'm, you know. So. Uh. 
Well, in you guys' eyes, you know, I feel like since my sophomore year, I, I feel like the winning or losing has had a lot to do with me. But, you know, when you look at the media, everybody says, oh, you know, whatever San Diego State does is, is Winston. You know, when we were 7-6, and six, everybody was looking at me, you know. So I definitely believe in you guys' eyes. Um, this is quote unquote my team, but you know, like I said, I feel like I've been one of the big factors since my sophomore year. Do you, you mean the, the word polarizing has been used? <laughs> yeah, I love it. I heard that a zillion times. Yeah. Um, do I think I'm polarizing? Huh? Do I think I'm polarizing? Well, not so much. Do you think you're polarizing? Do you think this changed? Do you think that you know when you walk out there tomorrow night and the crowd? Uh, I think a better question would be, do I care? I don't really care about that. Um, I am who I am. You know, I I came to grips with that a long time ago. You know, so, you know, there's always going to be people there who, whatever I do, they'll look at the negative of what I do. And then there'll be people there who love me regardless. So, you know, it doesn't really bother me. Um, once upon a time, it did, but I am who I am, man. I, I you know, I can't be Skyler, you know. I, I can't be Angela. I can only be me. So, if I'm deemed as polarizing, then I guess that's what I'll go down as. Don't you think you want some people over? Uh, I don't know. You know, like I said, it doesn't bother me because a lot of times I just think back to when we were seven and six and what people were saying, and my personality, I tend to hang on that more than to what people are saying as of late, so. So ESPN um, just did a story where they talked to some seniors around the country, if you read or not, and asked them what their senior self would tell their freshman self. So I wonder if since each of you are seniors now, if you'd go down and, and what, would you, what advice would you give to the freshman you who just come into college? I guess, enjoy the moment. Uh, you know, you have a lot of good memories on and off the court. You know, uh, Coach Fisher, he's always, he's always told us since I got here, time's going to fly. And, you know, it has even, even when you realize it. So, you know, just enjoy the moment, enjoy your time here, make the most out of it because it'll be gone just like that. Uh, I would tell myself to do exactly what I did. I wouldn't change one thing. I wouldn't change anything. I would tell myself to do exactly what I did, how I did it, the way I did it, um, with who I did it. I, w I wouldn't change anything. I believe that, you know, it's easy to look back and say, oh, you know, do this or do that. But, you know, the real test is trying to change it while you're going through it. So um, I would do everything I did exactly the way I did it. Uh, I'm going to go with what Sky said. Just enjoy the moment. It felt like I've been here for two years, but I've been here for like five, so it went by pretty fast, I feel like. So, you know, we just got to enjoy this. Don't take it for granted. And, uh, Scott, you had the box right here. You got the winningest player record uh, to get um, the school record for most wins. Which one is this? Do you think it's going to stand the longest and why? I guess the blocks one. For sure. Yeah, because um, I don't know. I just stacked up a lot of blocks separated myself and I still am, still have a chance to. So hopefully that one stays down for, for a long time. Forever. <laughs> uh, it's very important, you know. Uh, we want to keep building momentum. Um, you know, I've been saying all year, you know, that how many games have we had where everybody has played up to their best of their ability? Not many. And uh, tomorrow's another opportunity that we can go out and try to achieve that. So in terms of obviously the standings, the seeding, the, you know, who's going to win, you know, it won't change that. But as far as our chip on our shoulder, our pride, our momentum, our – Camaraderie, competitiveness is very important. I mean, I don't want to lose my last game in Las Vegas at home. No way.
do you think that what you guys did, what you were able to do in New Mexico, if you were able to finish with a win tomorrow, have some separation, you know, we were really run away with this conference, um, but that should mean something in terms of as other people from around the country are looking at your team? A lot of people have a lot to say about our conference, um, which I don't listen to personally, but what I would respond back to that and say is, you know, if our conference is so bad, then didn't we do what we were supposed to do? Right? I mean, if the conference is so bad, then we're supposed to have a multi-game lead and win three the conference three games ago. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do. I mean, if it's so bad. So, you know, do I think us beating New Mexico at New Mexico the way we did? I mean, I, I don't know if that would get us in or not, but my focus is just going out winning tomorrow and then approaching that next hill when we get to that, so. You are aware that the only sure route, right? I mean, there have been times before where going to the Mount West tournament didn't really matter in terms of, you knew you'd be playing the NCAA. Yeah. You guys are aware that four wins is probably the only way? Yeah, but you know, still, you know, we have to, Worry about Las Vegas. You know, we can't get four wins if we don't beat Las Vegas tomorrow. So we got to make sure we take care of them, man. They're a good team, you know, capable of beating us. And, you know, this season, you know, we have to continue to grow. We got to have to continue to get better. So, of course, you know, we know the negative stuff. I mean, it's in our face every day. So we know that. We're aware of that. But we choose to just take it one game at a time. That's what we say. Every game before the game, I make sure we try to say, one game at a time. You know, we can't worry about the Mountain West tournament. Winston, you know, Coach was talking about how quiet Skyler is and how he starts to say a little more this season. But, but uh, what, what's he like and how is he growing? I think some people you know, just don't know that much about Skyler because he's not uh, as loquacious maybe as you are. But and other people are. But what is he like? What is he like as a person? In, in, I would say, you know, he's a great guy. He he leads by example. You know, you don't have to worry about Sky having himself ready to play. Um, you don't have to worry about Sky being late to the bus, late to team meetings, you know. And I think Coach maybe probably took it a little easy on him because Sky is a vocal guy, you know. I mean, there's times in the huddle he's cussing us out. So, I mean, am I lying? <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> There's times he cussed guys out, went off in the locker room. I mean, this guy is a total leader, man. So, you know, I just think the media kind of however they want to paint a guy, that's how they paint a guy. So Sky has been painting as the quiet, easygoing guy, which he is. But, you know, he definitely can light a fire under people if need be. I mean, he could end, end his career with some of I mean, how else do you get to that point? I mean, you don't become the winningest player if you don't have a competitive fire, or unless you've played on four undefeated teams, which he didn't. So you must have competitive fire. Scott, can you talk about the process of this season and you know, like where you guys are at now? Do you feel, I know you've lost just a couple of games ago and all that, but you guys are ascending into the, the tournament. It's how it looks from the outside. I just wonder. Yeah, you know, we have a um, young team with a lot of talent, and we've been learning on the fly, been growing every game. And, you know, even the games where we look good is uh, when we go through in the film, there's so many things that, that we learn that we can build on. And as of late, we've been talking about uh, peaking at the right time. You know, we have players coming into their own, and – I feel from here, we can only go up. You know, we don't have anybody who's having a bad game where it's hurting us because we have so many good players. So, you know, all they could do is, is, uh, is help that by having good games. So, you know, I feel that we just keep rolling this momentum and keep peaking at the right time right into the tournament. Because of, of, of your 
Um, I don't know. Like how Winston said, the media paints the picture, and you can't really fix it. So it's not something I've I've gave uh, I've, uh, had deep thought about. You know, like I know who I am. My friends know who I am. Everybody who knows me. So you know, I can't really change what other people think. So I don't know if I'm misunderstood or not. You know, I just I am who I am. Skylar Spencer. <laughs> I don't know. Um, like, some people think I'm quiet, but I feel like uh, I talk the most on the team. You know, I'm the uh, jokester, the goofy one. I keep the mood light. And, you know, when we need to get serious, you know, I know how to buckle down and get on people. So, you know, I'm a little bit of everything. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, you know. We're all big, agile, you know. We're almost all the same height, and we are all the same height. No, <laughs> <laughs> almost all the same height, and <laughs> we can all do our own special thing. So you know, we're all u unique in our own way. So it's gonna be fun. When the buzzer sounds at the end of the game, you can imagine after going through these four years, who can be the first person you go to see or the first person that pops into your mind after the game? Well, it's my family, they're going to be here. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's probably going to be my family. Who are each of you having a walk you out? I'm having my aunt and my parents. Um, my dad's coming in, my godmother, Leslie Coughlin, and two of my friends. Yeah. Uh, my mom, my dad, my sister, and my best cousin. 